Hello, this is Jim Michaels with the Hickory Heights Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I'd like to share with you just a short message from the Word of God today. I believe that there's a great lack of reverence and respect shown toward our Heavenly Father, even among those who claim to be servants of the Lord. Now, I want us to think a little bit about that. You know, when churches offer things to please the worshiper instead of pleasing God, then where is God's reverence and where is his respect? When we don't look to the Bible and when we don't look and see what the Lord has to say to us in his holy and divine word of how he wants us to worship and serve him and the things that he wants the church involved in, then are we not showing a lack of reverence and respect for God and also for his word? Yeah, I want you to notice the question that Paul asked. In Galatians 1 and verses 10, for instance, he said, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I still please men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. Galatians 1 verse 10. So now who am I seeking to please? Am I seeking to please God or am I seeking to please men? You know, the church here at Hickory Heights, are we offering things to please the worshiper or are we offering things that please God? You know, I've had people ask me that question. What do you offer there? Well, what we offer is spiritual guidance, spiritual instruction, encouragement to do what's right, to stand for what's right, to teach the Bible and to teach only the Bible, to worship God in spirit and in truth. That's what it says in John 4 and verses 24, that we must worship him in spirit and truth. There's no option that's given to us. We've got to do what the Lord tells us to do. When you talk about spirit and truth, spirit is with the right attitude, but truth is according to the word of God. Do you realize that the work of the church is not to offer social meals? It's not involved in the entertainment. It's not involved in softball or basketball. You know, those are not things that the Lord instructed the church to provide for people. You know, those are good things, but that's not the work of the church. The work of the church is spiritual in nature. It's to edify itself in love. It's to take care of its own needy. And uh, certainly it's to worship and serve God. It's to evangelize, to teach the laws. It's a spiritual institution, if I might call it that. It's involved in a spiritual work. Paul said in Romans 14 and verses 17, he said, For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. He said, But is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So now, do I seek to please God or do I seek to please men? What we're striving to do is to please God, and we certainly hope and pray that that's what pleases men as well. Men who love God and want to serve God, they'll be pleased with that. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.